I really like the Netherlands as a country and uh, the city of, uh, of The Hague. It's a nice city, it's a, it's a quite, quite uh, city. I arrived three, uh, three weeks ago and uh, we have been able to visit around. And even today, with the presentation of credentials, we had uh, courage uh, to, to the palace. We had uh, people on the, on the side uh, greeting us. I feel that uh, I will have a good time here. because we have a motion to stand there uh, with the guard of honor to have the national anthem of uh, Rwanda being performed uh, and also being well performed because I really liked how they performed it and then afterwards uh, the inspection of the guard to also give weight to the function of ambassador of the representation of my country to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. To the Dutch people, I will say that Rwanda is thankful and appreciates the friendship between both countries and the support that Rwanda has benefited, especially for the past 25 years, where the Netherlands was among the first countries to support our country in different sectors, including the critical sector of justice, to build courtrooms in Rwanda to uh, support the capacity building of uh, judges and the uh, profession of justice. And uh, now we are in business together. Rwanda is still a developing country, but a country that wants to be self-reliant. We are now transitioning with the Netherlands from, uh, from uh, aid to trade. We had a good discussion with uh, His Majesty the King uh, a cordial discussion about uh, uh, our bilateral relations, which are important. You know, we have very good relations um, with uh, the Netherlands, uh, especially since um, in, uh, the genocide perpetrated against the Tutsi. Uh, they opened the embassy uh, very soon. We discussed about the region also. The region, uh, the integration within the East African community. His family knows that region and uh, we really uh, enjoyed the discussion. Uh, and uh, he was uh, interested in our country, in uh, what we have uh, achieved. Uh, Rwanda is a country that has, uh, I would say, the best coffee and the best tea in the world. We also export horticultural products, uh, flowers, uh, vegetables, uh, fruits. In Rwanda we have uh, the mountain gorillas, the only place that in that region of the northern Rwanda, in the volcanoes area that you can uh, visit those uh, mountain gorillas. It's, it's a lifetime uh, experience. Except the gorillas, we also have uh, the Nyungwe forest in the south, which is uh, one of the oldest uh, rainforests in Africa. We have uh, the national park of uh, Akagera in the east, uh, where you can uh, visit uh, the lions, uh, elephants and uh, others. And then we have uh, the lake, the Kivu Lake, on, on the west between Rwanda and Congo. Uh, we had uh, become actually the second country in Africa to host international conferences. We already have a really 
quite sizable uh, amount of Dutch investment in Rwanda. You know that uh, Heineken has a big investment in, uh, in Rwanda. Unilever is, is, is in Rwanda for uh, tea processing. We have um, Royal DSM in, uh, in uh, Africa, improved food. So we, we have investment already, in uh, uh, Dutch investment in Rwanda, but we want to promote them. I will uh, see how we can, uh, we, we can collaborate in the, in the financial sector as Rwanda wants to uh, position itself as a, as a financial hub uh, in uh, East Africa. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. I came here at the OPCW to uh, present uh, my credentials uh, to the Director General of uh, the OPCW, uh, Mr. Fernando Arias. Uh, following uh, uh, my presentation uh, yesterday to His Majesty King of the Netherlands. We are a member of this uh, organization, which is an important uh, organization for the humanity, as uh, it uh, has uh, the mission to protect us uh, from uh, those chemical weapons. And Rwanda uh, is uh, also, of course, opposed to, uh, to the use uh, in any way of uh, chemical weapons or toxic uh, chemicals. Uh, and uh, we believe that uh, we need all together to promote cooperation and consensus in order to eradicate uh, those weapons uh, from the face of the earth. And for uh, the Rwandan community in the Netherlands, um, we, we, uh, we also say, I also say that uh, uh, it's important uh, for them uh, to continue building that that, uh, that uh, friendship, we are here to support uh, to support them uh, in uh, everything they, they wish to do here um, here in the Netherlands. And then uh, we appreciate also their role in uh, uh, in building uh, building the country, to continue building the country. You know that one of the main uh, income of the of our country is remittances from the diaspora. Uh, so they, they contribute a lot in the economy. Uh, of the country, we we'll continue supporting them, but of course, in a spirit of uh, also maintaining the Rwandan culture. Uh, you know, uh, from uh, from uh, uh, in the diaspora, in the Rwandan community abroad, uh, sometimes uh, uh, there are young people who tend to forget uh, the language, the Kenya Rwanda, but we will be there to really to support to support them.